Good day and welcome to your favorite program, The Conversation, coming to you from TV360 here in Lagos, Nigeria. I want to wish us all a happy 2024. This is our first uh, edition of the program in the new year. And it is my prayer that uh, the new year will be one of uh, blessings and prosperity for us as Nigerians, as well as uh, the country uh, at large. Uh, thank you for joining us today on the program. My name is Nelson Ekujumi, and I have with me on the conversation, Comrade Pope Olaja, popularly known as Pope of Africa. Pope, you are welcome to the program. Thank you. Compliments of the season. Happy New Year. Same to you, sir. Same to you. Yes. On this stanza of the program, we want to look at the President's New Year broadcast to Nigerians. You know, that broadcast has continued to generate uh, reactions from Nigerians. And if you ask me, that was one broadcast that, you know, showed... Empathy. That was one broadcast that you know uh, reflected the the reality of our situation. Because uh, if you go through that broadcast, and I I recollect that uh, going through the broadcast, the president said he talked about the hard times we are going through. And uh, if I want to take some excerpts from the broadcast, Mr. President said, "I am well aware that for some time now, the conversations and debate have centered." on the rising cost of living, high inflation, which is now above 28%, and the unacceptable high underemployment rates. From the boardrooms at Broad Street in Lagos to the main streets of Kano and Nimbe Creeks in Bayesa, I hear the groans of Nigerians who work hard every day to provide for themselves and their families. I am not oblivious to the expressed and sometimes ex unexpressed frustrations of my fellow citizens. So going through the broadcast, uh, Comrade Pope, you recognize that uh, one sermon that uh, President Bola Metinubu has continued to, you know, dish out to Nigerians is that, look, I can feel your pains. I know the times are tough. And like he said before he was sworn in, he said he asked for this job that nobody should pity him. So he's prepared to renew the hope of Nigerians. And then um, the empathy he continues to show is one that we must commend him for. Mm -hmm. He's not uh, saying because he is in the saddle that you know whatever the Nigerian people are going through is none of his business. That I've been president now, I'm president. Well, but rather he is telling us that the times are rough and tough, but together who weather the storm. I think uh, what President Bola Metinubu is uh, exhibiting here is that charisma of leader. A leader who wants to carry his people along, who wants them to realize that, look, this journey, we're in it together. We're in it together. Yeah, yes. um, well, to me, I didn't expect the, um, the reactions that followed the speech because for me the new year speech is just the normal ritual the president will address us every um, first then october first then democracy day so well, what he has done perfectly is to is to uh, is to highlight what he has done so far in the last seven months, thereabouts. And then, um, of course, um, it shows that then the, con the content of um, the broadcast shows he, he can feel the pain of the people. And, um, and it shows that, um, at least for now, at least for now, he still has some people that I'm giving him correct feedback until when he's isolated from. <laughs> but do you think our presidents are always isolated, or our presidents are isolated at times from the people? I, I don't think so. Uh, uh, I, I, but you see, uh, let me. You see, the way our system runs yeah. is um, a situation where everybody don't want to offend whether the governor or the president. So then, even the number of people that has access to them mm -hmm. is curtailed. Yes, of course, you don't expect um, 
um, the office will be opened, you know, to just every term. Yeah. Uh, 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 because it's a place for serious business. It's a place for serious business. Yeah. So in the final analysis, it will just spend 24 hours receiving visitors and listening to her. So it has to be contained. But, you know, the way he operates, you know, um, you know, as even a grassroots person, you know, he has a, um, a kind of network. Yes. Beyond the, the official, uh, 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 official dom. Uh, official dom. So, it's a person that has, at least for now, you know, see getting the correct feedback from the people. So, uh, he, he has only told us what um, he has done and his um, intentions. Yes. So, to me, it's just the normal thing. And um, uh, what, what I would have expected people to do, you know, immediately after the speech, then we had the, the budget, uh, budget sign. Yes. What yeah. I expect people to be debating is the budget. Budget. And not the speech. The speech, yeah. And not the speech. So, um, uh, the, um, um, for me, the, the speech is perfect. It's good. He has um, alighted um, what he has been able to do. And it shows that seriously is... Um, is um, um, empathic to our situation. Then fixing the problems <laughs> is not for the Abuja people alone. No, that's why he has told us <laughs> that we are in it together. In it. Yes, in so together. nobody should sit in the comfort of their homes mm. or their offices and assume that all our problems will be solved from Abuja because we also have state governors. Yeah, we have governors. We have local, we have local government, government chairmen. Chairman. So who were supposed to address in fact, if not because of the kind of structure we run in Nigeria, the ethic of um, the president um, is not as, um, as um, you know, as big and um, as, as it is here. If we have um, responsible local government, government administrators yes. and we have responsible governors, you know, at the state level. So what is my business with Abuja? If my life um, ambition can be fulfilled within my Your environment, locality, yes. my environment. Pope, mm. one thing we must also educate our, our viewers is that a lot of times we'll come up and, you know, when anything has happened, we just ask one off question. You expect that at every point in time we should be asking questions because societies that have made progress. Our societies in which people have asked questions. You're talking about this bailout fund mm. and this uh, COVID uh, palliative. Mm -hmm. After the distribution, how have we been able to even monitor the process to come out and say, okay, uh, in community A, we monitor the COVID distribution in our local government and we can co uh, categorically come out and tell the whole world that, look, in our local government, it was well distributed. People that were supposed to receive it, received it. But rather, we run to the media to go and castigate. Oh, it was not distributed well. Oh, ah, some people, somebody took 10. But when, the, when, we, when we see the good parts, we keep moots. Because we want to, we want to be politically <laughs> correct. We know when you say anything, <laughs> uh, when you talk about something that is wrong or not good, that is when people want to... Echo, echo your voice. But when there's something good, it's also in part of our responsibility to speak uh, up. But, uh, well, 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 see, it, that is normal. Um, Yoruba will say, when um, um, a dog a bites a human being, the man, yeah. that is no news. No news yeah. It is when human being bites the dog, the that's, dog when it news. that's when it becomes <laughs> the news. <laughs> so, um, it's, it's normal. You see, if you do something out of 100 and 99 is correct, nobody will talk about the 99, 99 that you did right. That you did right. They will only point at the one that is not um, done right. So that is the thing. But again, you see, it's not possible to satisfy everybody. But at the same time, at the same time, if, you know, the government or uh, the government and you know the programs are open and you have a um, clear court you know um standard and yardstick for distribution and what have you that you can easily track 
It's not because it didn't get to me, I would complain. But I know that, ah, oh, what, they, they try, you know. But because they, 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 um, 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 they have clear standard, they have um, clear method, you know, of distribution. So that, but I'm not even talking about um, distribution of rights, COVID, and what have you. I'm even talking about um, the World Bank um, loan taking, giving to the state. It was recently that, um, is it 130 million dollars or whatever was distributed to state from that um, COVID? Uh, that, that, that's what we are talking about. What were they used for? Well, <laughs> well, we'll continue to ask questions, but uh, like, uh -huh, no, like you said, of course we have a um, docile population Please. that doesn't, uh, you know, challenge um, um, the government. On their activities, or they don't seek information. No, they don't. No, they, 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 of course, rumors no, try. I, 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 I don't think it should be about challenges. I, I think it should no, be about challenges, interrogation. Us, in, yes, interrogation of the process. Yes, people that, rather they will be interrogating the the, the religion the, uh, or the ethnicity, uh, ethnicity of, the of, the of the man in office. the man in office. Well, it shouldn't be. Well, Mr. President has uh, assured us that uh, with these economic policies, that uh, in the last seven months. Is now poised to accelerate, you know, service delivery. For example, we, he had this uh, power agreement in uh, COP28 in Dubai yeah. with the German Chancellor. The yes. Then uh, we also are aware that uh, the bus, the CNG buses, will soon be arriving. Uh -huh. We uh, I've seen pictorials of um, the minister, uh, one of the ministers, who no, the minister for information and culture who, you know, um, had the launch of an uh, inauguration of a uh, passing out trainees on CNG buses conversion. Well, the days ahead... Uh, in what, what, what is important, what is important here is that let us um, um, leave the speech alone. Let us concentrate on, on the, the budget, budget okay. and the implementation. On the budget. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Comrade uh, Ajayakupola for your opinion on this uh, program, uh, the conversation. We will go on a short break as well as um, we want to, like as rightly said, we urge Nigerians to look at the budget and uh, the Mr. President's speech has uh, addressed some of those key issues. It is now for us to look at the budgets that are beyond Mr. President's implementation, implementation because they will be implemented by the government ministries, department and agencies. Yes, that yes. is where our focus should be on now. We'll go on a short break. We'll be right back. Please continue to watch the conversation on TV 360. We'll be right back.